Hi, I'm Gord Cole, uh, owner, co-owner of Aquacage Fisheries Limited in Perry Sound, Ontario. Aquacage Fisheries has been a, an operating fish farm since 1982, since before a lot of you were born probably. We were the first freshwater cage farm uh, using Norwegian style technology anywhere in the world to the best of my knowledge. Uh, we've expanded production a fact by a factor of uh, a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, about 300 times over the years. Uh, and we've been in Depot Harbor since 1983. In order to get into the fish farming business, you need to deal with a very wide range of government agencies. You need an aquaculture license from the Ministry of Natural Resources, and the Ministry of Natural Resources works very closely with the Ministry of the Environment. So your aquaculture license will contain environmental conditions regarding water quality and sediment that are very, very stringent. Uh, we're essentially required in terms of water quality to test the water near our cages and at remote locations. And in practical terms, there can be no difference. And we've never had a water quality problem in the 33 years we've been here. Um, we have to do sediment testing periodically. Um, and there's a number of other conditions relating to uh, to fish health, for example, uh, we need to have a fish vet um, and various things like that. You're also required to obtain an exemption to moor in nav navigable waters from Transport Canada or the Canadian Coast Guard. I'm not sure what it is now, it changes periodically. We, we are <coughs> an approved use in the local uh, plan with the local township. We have, uh, we have an agreement with the local First Nation. Oh, what else? I can't even remember. Now, in, in today, in order to obtain an aquaculture license, it's probably a two to three year process and would cost, I would guess, in the neighborhood of $200,000 just to go through the license application. It requires a lot of environmental monitoring for a year or more. Uh, before you even think about putting the farm in. It uh, requires surveys of local wild fish populations um, and a lot of other fairly onerous, uh, onerous requirements. So anybody that's thinking of getting into the fish farming business, uh, it's not an easy thing to do. In fact, it's so difficult that we've not had a new farm licensed in Ontario since 1997. 